everybody. Welcome to Paranormal Insights. I'm William Becker, your host, and my guest this evening is Gert Brouwer. Gert is with PSW in the Netherlands, and he's rec here recording a, a video uh, documentary and working on several other projects. So, Gert, welcome, and thank you for being my guest. Thank you, William. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Great. You've got so many different things that you work with and talk about. We could spend basically a season going over the different issues and, and that kind of thing. But I think tonight what we'll do is work with one of the hot button ones that interest a lot of people, demonology. And first of all, from my conversations with you, your understanding and concept of demonology is very different than the usual American idea of it. Could you explain demonology a little bit? Give us um, some ideas, just what it is you mean? Um, um, yeah, if, uh, if you look at um, demonology through the American way, it's uh, through the church, mm -hmm. the Christian church, and mm -hmm. that's in all the parts of the world. It the most recognized is by the Christian Church or the Catholic Church. Um, but I see demonology as more as working with energy, like uh, sen with your senses, with your body, um, uh, knowing more about different religions, mm -hmm. uh, knowing the history and your belief. Um, your feeling, your mind, getting a mind set up, and uh, yeah, and knowing uh, like medicine, uh, people using medicine uh, have have an influence. So I see the demonal demonology. I see more as no having knowledge about uh, a lot of the paranormal and normal world to each other in one. Okay, so when you're talking about a demon particularly, um, is that something then that fits with the Christian idea of some pure evil being spawned from <coughs> Satan and hell, or the, um, is this a mix or some, some kind of... The, ch the church always says uh, a demon is a fallen angel. Mm -hmm. um, if you look like that, that kind of way, then it's like the normal stories about the church is like there is a fallen angel somewhere and uh, your mind setup is um, you're scared or you're going to be get scared or don't have any confidence or you're in the lower groups of living. Mm -hmm. That's where it happened always. And most of the time, um, a demon works very slow. Okay. Uh, he get you're going to trust him through an entity, or he's whispering, he moves things, uh, all kind of ways. But um, most of the time, if you choose for the church, first they will uh, bless you. And what I know about blessings is like um, you get someone mad. If mm -hmm. I, if you don't have that same belief as the Christian or the Catholic Church, and I'm coming at your house and throwing with water as an idiot, so I I will see that as my kind of way. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't will be happy or, or water getting on our, uh, important papers or uh, blasphemes. You, you think uh, yelling to someone uh, who's that not there. Or some people don't understand that and. Most of the times, the blessings don't help. Okay. But people uh, get trust about about it because um, they trust and think on that moment mm -hmm. it's really gone because the person who's doing it, the blessing from the church, um, says it's gone. So on that moment, they trust themselves and uh, again. But the demon is not gone. The demon is coming back and heavier because. They destruct uh, the uh, the any energy emotion, mm -hmm. and if you're doing that, you get a lot of trouble. So then, 
you have a big, uh, really big problem because then they are coming as an exorcist and they say, yeah, it's gone out of the body or, um, yeah. But it, it's a demon can go if the person believes it's gone. Then the demon is really gone. Or you need to have a demonologist to get the structures, mm -hmm. how, we, how it works. It costs uh, much time to mm -hmm. get that. Or you put an already an exorcist that uh, have understanding about these things and uh, who's strong to get violent into him. Uh, break the structure of the demon and go in and clean the thing and yeah. Now when you say violent and break the structure, are you talking about an energy structure or breaking up uh, an energy being type thing or are you talking mm. about a fist fight? Uh, we don't uh, talk about a fist fight. Okay. You cannot have a fist fight with the supernatural. You, no one can. Mm -hmm. uh, only what you can do is using your mind. And I'm not going to tell how, because mm -hmm. there are people trying at home and there are not much demons. But if you want to get it away, you have to be faster than his thinking, mm -hmm. be faster than his structure. It's like um, that an... Uh, then an airplane can go faster than light. So that's the statement you have to make. So you need to know what the, the demon is going to do. So you have to know and ha how to know how a demon thinks, do he, what he wants to do. So mm -hmm. structures is very important. And uh, I've I never seen um, much exorcists doing it you know right. I know one friend of mine in Holland it's an uh, Englishman Trevor Burgoyne okay. he knows it he need I've got more speed than him doing exorcisms but much demonologists don't understand the structures okay they are going with uh, with the cross and believe me it don't works mm -hmm. I do I've been in just cleansings or clearings where people have done that and I watch the entities laughing, and then the person doing the cleansing says everything's fine, and sometimes it will be for a short period, and then it's all back plus. And we're dealing with entities this way that are different than what you're talking about. We're not dealing with um, human energy um, or human souls or spirits. And most of the time, I don't think it's a soul or spirit anyway. But the demons themselves, then, what you look at, do you consider them to be a pure evil being? What are they? What are they? The normal demon is an energy level you, a normal person not can arrange to it. Mm -hmm. It's so high. It's like um, you can watch like someone is walking mm -hmm. and wants to battle with a, with an uh, with an airplane. An airplane will run faster than right. him. So the f uh, the energy of a demon goes into your system. He re always reads your system, your body, mm -hmm. your emotions, all senses, your mind. He takes mind in control or uh, location noises um, like the radio he using everything in the home so he will always be faster than that okay and that's the way how demons work and if you want to get rid of them you must go working from yourself and c be be like someone don't want to be involved with some someone uh, like uh, I close myself no one can get in my world mm -hmm. and uh, on those moments I'm really really my irritation level is high okay so if someone is coming close to me uh, oh, it's it's crazy your irritation level you 
if you be before you begin, you need to accept the people who are going to be around you. If I don't, they have a problem. Mm -hmm. I had uh, one uh, one time doing an exorcism that someone came close to me, and but with my abilities to exorcise the demon I, I wanted to do, I did him. What what happened? He was he was gone for three weeks. He has uh, emotional problems for three weeks, and I said, y you have to accept it. Mm -hmm. You had to listen because your system is feeling around and all what's coming into you like a life form. Mm -hmm. uh, a demon has a life form on that moment because he's energy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you will. Yeah, you get rid of it. Okay. And the demon comes into you because of fear or you're feeling bad, sad, like those things. Or he's meant to be to hurt you. And he's always coming in in your weak, weak places. Okay. Are there any demons that actually do good or that aren't just pure nasty? No, yeah. There are demons. N you have... Like in the world, you have good and bad people, uh, and if you like, uh, if you are open for it, and you going to study demons, you, you you can teach from them. Okay. You know, you you going to understand more and more what what is happening in their brain. I call it just call it brain. They don't have brains, but um, you going to understand it. And sometimes, yeah, with just talking it can help that they okay. are going okay very good um how common are these <laughs> if i can if i look in um the mainland of europe i'm always busy with uh procents um i want to know about one to hundred how much if i look at 96 percent that n is not demon um, if we look more in the paranormal then it's 98 percent is no paranormal problem it's the people's problem okay so the people's problem meaning their own mental health issues or that they create a paranormal event because of their own issues creating in a sense, for lack of a better word, a, an entity of a sort? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've met some of those, and that's interesting. So the people uh, sometimes believe there, uh, there is a demon where there is no demon because mm -hmm. it's in their system. They think it's violent, and right. it isn't violent because everyone feels like I throw a glass of water over you, you can smile because oh uh, the crazy guy. Other people will oh uh, will yelling, you know. Mm -hmm. And let me say, um, there are no a lot of demons in the world. Mm -hmm. People yeah. make their own demons. I think I, th I think that's right. And you know, some people were cranky when they were living, and not very nice. And I w would think that would carry over in some cases to what they leave behind. Yeah. And so you've got you've had clients that think it the cranky old man next door that doesn't like your music so he's banging on the walls uh, or throwing things. They think it's a demon, but it's really just a cranky old man next door. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um that makes a lot of sense. Uh, folks, uh, he's talking about a lot of things now that he studied for a long time. This isn't something you want to go out and do for thrill seeking. Um, it's not about thrills. It's about understanding and comprehension and uh, not challenging something. It's you've got to do your homework and you've got to educate yourself. And it's probably good to work with somebody like Gert. How? Did you develop your knowledge? How did you get to this place? Um, I developed my knowledge uh, after that I was 21. 
and I was battled by myself with an, uh, I think, demon. Because if I look back after my uh, things, what happened, mm -hmm. I recognize a lot of things um, in my schedule that's a demon. I was always coming home mm -hmm. and feeling uh, two hands on my throat, and uh, sometimes I had imprints and. The crazy thing was it was always at home and if I go to work, uh, I felt good. And if I ca came back, step in my front door, then I had a problem again. I, I had those imprints and um, I was going to the dark to do the shrink and they both said, yeah, you have mental problems. I said, <laughs> <Far off. laughs> and I said, oh, no, that, that's not there because why, why I felt good in there and that was moment that I thought okay I wa was watching shows sometimes in the Netherlands you're talking about in the 90s uh, mm -hmm. it was not so famous as now and uh, I watched some shows and I saw someone doing like um, uh, using his uh, mind to settle m taking over his mind status so uh, I don't that and that was the first battle I have won because it w it was gone in one day. Okay. It's it's crazy. And after that, I was slowly interested in it. And it take a while to get there. But in 2002, after my mom died, I came in battle again with a demon. And on that moment, I uh, I said to myself, "Okay, if you want it, we get on war." Mm -hmm. And it's like I declare them we have war together. If you guys want to get get me, I don't know why. It's it's like it's it was meant to be. They mm -hmm. won. It, it's crazy, and I get it. It took me only a few hundreds of seconds to get rid of him mm -hmm. because my st mind was so strong, and uh, it was a way. Mm -hmm. So. You would learned how to focus your mind yeah. and to put that together beforehand. Yeah, yeah. I create a hyper-focus. Mm -hmm. And in my hyper-focus, it's like, yeah, I'm so focused, full of energy that I can do what I want. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, how many actual demons do you think you've met? Actual how many? I think uh, 20 to 30, I think. Okay, and that's in 20 some years of doing this. Yeah, like that. S and Gert's out investigating all the time. You've got, you go all kinds of places. Yeah. So that shows how rare this really is. Plus you get called in to work in situations, is that right? If somebody has an issue, yeah, you get called in. Yeah, I'm called in, or um, we have um, a research walking now in the in the church, the 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 Dutch church or organization asked me because um, on their style they don't get rid of it, and they ask the someone with another style wants mm -hmm. to do it and. They are slowly believing in me, and they say, "Whoa, this guy is doing something else than us with mm -hmm. our blessings and uh, exorcisms. He's mm -hmm. he's looking further." Okay. Now, is that the Catholic Church or the Protestant Church, or both? Both. both. Okay. Both. Excellent. Wow, fascinating work. Yeah, it really it's is. fascinating. But I keep I need to keep my eyes open for everything. If it's crazy if I just talk about it. Uh, my focus is going around like, whoa, only mm -hmm. that word gives me the feeling, okay, I must be watching me myself. My back is like, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I can understand that. What do you get out of the work? Um, is why do you do it? Is what is your reward, your satisfaction? Uh, my satisfaction uh, is like um, I called me 
many years ago when it, it was beginning in the 90s I called myself a worst piece of shit mm. I didn't feel well I was yeah I, I was not myself you know mm-hmm. um, after losing my girlfriend it was harder for me right uh, um, so on that moment I was thinking okay I f- let us say um, I work to get rid of th- the not nice ones. I mm-hmm. don't want to say evil, and it teaches me to be a better person. You know, it okay. tried to give me more uh, motivation to change my own life, to be not that guy anymore. I was so I'm a lot nicer now than I was. Excellent, excellent. That gives much uh, satisfaction for myself. I like that. I like that a lot. What, if you have something, I'm just looking at the clock and how much time, and I do want to touch on the project you're here doing as well. Um, If you have any words of wisdom, any words of advice, caution, anything to people that look at it, there's a, in this country, there's a big push in demonology and people read two books and think they are experts mm-hmm. and people are thrill hunters and they think it's a thrill and what kind of advice would you give to people the best kind of advice is like go to people as me and teach uh, by them and not read stories stories are not the true you need to get involved with mm-hmm. the thing you want to learn and you know I make a statement with demonology about demons and like that or exorcism it's better you don't want to teach it mm-hmm. only if you provoke it to it you can give yourself a way to it to know that the rest of your life it will follow you then mm-hmm. you must study exorcism demonology because it will follow you everywhere it's okay. like you're going to be a magnet ah. it's hard it's mm-hmm. hard to stay open you know mm-hmm. it's hard because your own you have to battle with your own demons too right that makes sense makes a lot of sense well in the few minutes we have left I'd like to switch gears fairly drastically here and ask you why you're here what I mean not on the planet but why you're here in the States why you're here in Oregon and the project that brought you here Uh, I'm I'm here because of um, I'm provoked to film the paranormal um, how I see it, mm-hmm. how I feel it. Um, uh, I want to visit locations um, where stories are going about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to know everything from it, you know, and uh, try to debunk American stories, mm-hmm. uh, sage, uh, um, different things. And uh, sometimes I already see like, Oh guys, you're making it so big. You um, and I see the pe- the difference between Euro uh, some European people like the Dutch. Bis- the difference between the American people and the Dutch people. Mm. Uh, I see that the Dutch people are more realistic. Okay. Where, um, where the Americans are sometimes running for nothing, you mm-hmm. know. But that's that's the difference between the people. And you have different beliefs, uh, religions, different countries. We all are different. Right, right. How did the the I guess how did the project get started? How did it get started? Because um, a friend of mine had a dream to make. Uh, he was American, um, but he died uh, to make documentary about paranormal to show mm-hmm. 
some reality uh, think beliefs with different persons so that was my so uh, we get there through his thoughts and I pick it up again and I said okay I want to go to America and I don't know how but I will come there mm -hmm. and yeah and then you came and the story goes on and yeah I was there yeah and I'm uh, now we're sitting here yeah oh it's fascinating yeah it's, it's fantastic it's, it's yeah everything is going so fast and I asked a few people from my uh, team with me and they said yeah we want to come along and mm -hmm. see America and the paranormal and those things and they will be on a, f a future episode as well cool good are you making progress yeah we make project making a progress uh, I'm so uh, I'm so perfect and sometimes I say oh this is not good this is not good <laughs> you get a lot of your m on your mind but mm -hmm. I want to do things perfect mm -hmm. no normally I live in a location and now it's okay we got one <laughs> that's really a mind or part of oh. an oh. evening yeah you know? yeah, yeah. And just uh, you have to do it in a short while where mm -hmm. I normally last time uh, mm -hmm. I will talk about later uh, about the fortress uh, fortress L we right. were we were uh, five days in it Mm -hmm. And that's that's really crazy for me. Yeah. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I like it. As long as there's an espresso machine. You can't... If you arrange it... You can't deal with ghosts without espresso. I'm sorry. I yeah, have you're getting older. I have, I have my limits, you know. <laughs> uh, fascinating. Well, it's really good that you're here. How do people get a hold of you? How do the people get a hold of your team? Uh, go to www.paranormalsocietyworld.com. Okay. And there's a way of selecting to view it in English? Yeah, there's a translate button on it. Okay. Because I know there are Dutch speakers in this country, but they're not as common as they are in the Netherlands. Um, and you've also got the Paranormal... Society World Awards coming up. Yes, this is coming up. Uh huh. And how do people? People look can at vote uh, from 11 November until 21 December. Mm -hmm. They and have to vote for me, yeah? No, 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 folks. <laughs> you vote for me. We are in some competition. We're both in a couple of different fields, and I think we're in some competition. Be yeah. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's gonna win. I'm going to win. <laughs> Kent Rasmussen we'll already knows I'm going to win. I have a feeling neither one of us <laughs> will win and somebody else will. I will ask and Big Tony <laughs> to pick you up. <laughs> and then we'll both laugh. <laughs> so, Gert, thank you so yeah. much for being here. Yeah, I great. really appreciate the time. You're welcome. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Take care. Take care.